Hello and welcome everyone to EMK Knight's gaming channel. I'm Commander Shepard with Wizard Ken. And we are gonna be trying out the <clears throat> E fifty E fifty M armor again. Uh we're gonna run it up against the T sixty two A and right now the object two six eight which has the highest pen in the game. Yeah, we're starting with the object two six eight because one, if this has a problem pinning, then there's no reason to try anything else. Um and uh, just clarify, our last video was just to show how to defeat this other tank, you know, from, you know, a higher elevation. Try to use your terrain to destroy it kind of thing. But we'll get more of that uh, uh, when we get to the next tank. So Yeah, the right whole now, point was to show it's not overpowered. You can beat it. <laughs> exactly. Um, it is a nice tank. We have been playing around with it a little bit. It is a decent tank and stuff like that, but I don't think, you know, especially with, you know, it's only armored really high in the front and stuff like that. But, um, you know, I think I don't think it's over nerfed. I just, you know, overpowered. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyways, here we go. I'm gonna try to hit here. This thing has not been accurate all day. Uh, we're using standard shells. We're also at 100% on our crew and stuff like that. So. Um, we're not doing anything fancy. We just wanted to make sure we hit this guy at the yep. at range. But you are angled a little bit, so. Yep. Go ahead, shoot it again. We'll just do. If you can't get through on this next shot, I'll go head on. But I figured with 300 something pen, may as well angle. And hey, what do you know? That front plate is saving my bacon. But now, head on. Probably not so much. In our testing so far, he's been able to get through probably about three quarters of the time. Wow. Wow. Well, the range probably has something to do with it, too. You do lose pen over range. But 200, I wouldn't have thought it would have affected it that much, but it could. Yep, we'll move into 100 meters here. Now, people, we're just trying to show off the front plate. If you have any sense in you whatsoever, you would shoot the rest of the tank, which is a weak spot. The turret can be penetrated by anything on its level, and the sides and rear, of course, are open game. Not to mention the lower front plate, which will get penned every time. And Ken just killed my driver. You bastard. <laughs> but as you can see, we're hitting you know, at 100 range, which... Realistically, uh, Tank Destroyer is not going to be shooting you. That he's going to be trying to hit you from further away. But so you've got, you know, some decent armor from a distance. But wow, even still now, it's you know, and every and and we've done this before, where we've done this at the exact same spot, and I was actually penetrating through. So yeah, the majority maybe it's just of the, the roll time. of the dice that's doing it I don't know seeing like that you know I mean the point is is that if if you have to hit the upper plate you know you sure it's it's gonna save your bacon a lot but you know don't don't depend on it because you're gonna get this false sense of security and when you go against somebody with some sense they're gonna mess you up they're gonna know exactly where to hit you anywhere on that front mantlet and that lower plate We'll we'll show more of that with the T sixty two. Exactly. Because Ken and I will we'll get into a little one on one dogfight there, and with that maneuverability, he should be able to shred me up no problem. It should be, but I'm not very familiar with the tank, and it feels like a hovercraft. Uh, <laughs> using that T sixty two, it's it's really touchy. It reminds me of the uh, the one C. It really does on how like touchy it is. Wow, I got to so. test that just to see it myself. <laughs> it's really touchy. It's got a very... I, I love the speed on it. I mean, I think for a heavy tank and the move, uh, you know, it being We should able race to, the 1C and the T-62. <laughs> there you go. And the agility that it has, I, I really like it a lot. So, um, but anyways, we'll do the same thing again right now. But we're going to explain a couple more things like we were just talking about. You know, you're not exactly going to aim for the... I mean, I know I'm not going to aim for the top plate, uh, except for just these examples real quick, but... Yeah, that last that. video is to show you 
pretty much how to beat it. You know, you flatten out the angle right there on elevation and all day. But, you know, T62 has a pretty decent pen. It's not quite as high as the 268, but we're about 300 meters here, so feel free to open up on me. He's a little angled, but we're not going to worry about that. At the okay, that's good. Of course, it shoots low. <laughs> nice shot. <laughs> Magic Russian uh, aiming right, right there. Now that one actually hit on the upper. Yeah. Didn't do anything. Do a couple more shots and then switch to gold just so they can see at range. Yeah. Well, that was... I'm going to switch to gold real quick. That was already two shots right there. You know, it's not going to change too much. Um... Of course, it has to hit your top. <laughs> oh, Watch wow. right there. That uh, so you guys know that's uh, those are the weak spots: the lower plate and his turret. You know, you could pin that all day long. So, but right there, I actually hit. Yeah, I think you hit the coax, uh, or not the coax, but the hole mounted uh, MG. Uh, I'm looking at it right now. It's all torn up. And we got a bounce, so got yeah, finally a bounce with gold. So I'm gonna move into uh, 150. You gotta, yeah, you still got a chance of getting hurt with gold, so don't sit there and rely on anybody know. who has half a brain is gonna switch. Exactly. So, and I mean, I'm sure if Ken were to aim at my weak spots, even at 300 meters, he could probably reliably hit them, because he was trying to hit the front plate and he was hitting the weak spots for crying out loud. So, anyways, you saw I shot a whole new area. I'll do it again. A whole new area. It's it's pinning with gold. So, if these people are smart, usually at tier 10, they're going to be running gold. You know, just in case they, they run into a tank like this and stuff. So, um, but anyways, we're going to... I'm going to destroy him real quick, and then we're going to show you what it looks like. You know, just actually fighting. Fighting, you know. Um, like I said, I'm not very good at this tank yet, so, wow. You know what, I'm not 8C. Now that I want to finish him... <laughs> He's on oh, fire! No. <laughs> on fire. But what I should have done was, since I wanted to finish him, I should have shot him in the uh, turret. Because that would have been an easy kill there. Yeah, that would have been the end of me. Anyways... All right. Just some uh, thoughts on the E50M here. Even though the front plate has been buffed, um, the maneuverability is a little bit buffed as well. But on flat terrain, don't expect to go more than 45 kph. And when you start turning, your speed will drop down to about 30. So it's it's a little bit better maneuverability than uh, probably uh, you remember. But uh, the armor, besides that, is is pretty much the same. Anybody with, with some sense is going to shoot your lower front plate in a head-on engagement. Not to mention you're going to be spotted a lot easier than the T-62A or any other non-German tank. Exactly. Um, no buildings. We're just going to fall out, just fight in the middle of this field. So as soon as we spot each other, that's when it begins. We're just going to do what we have to do. Now me, I might go for a... See, I'm going to try to close the gap on this. Yeah, whereas I want to stay out of range. But it's a little late for that. And see, his turret right now cannot keep up with me. Oof, that was a bad move for me. Ah, I didn't get to track. Uh, I feel like I'm a heavy tank now. <laughs> Whew, I am just not aiming good at all. Ah, but as you can see, if they get on top of you, I didn't do that that T62 justice at all. Um, you know, I'm not very familiar with it and and stuff, but. I still did a decent amount of damage to him. Um, I missed a lot of my shots, but uh, 
you know. Well, you know what? You want to try it with the 268, but if you want to find a bush and camp in it, I mean, it'd be a little bit more realistic what you're going to encounter in the field. Exactly. We'll, we'll try that real quick. Because um, you should be able to end me with two shots with that, no problem, man. But, like, I would like to say is, he, like he said, distance is your friend. Um, I wasn't using gold rounds on him at all. I was just using regular, and I was, you know, starting to slowly weak him down. And also, you're going to have other players on the field. So, getting overwhelmed like that is not going to be ideal for you at all. Oh, no. So... Just remember that when you're playing that tank, but um, as plus, if I could have kept my momentum going around him, you know, I was doing pretty decent keeping him. You know, his his turret couldn't do anything, especially after I tracked him. So, makes it a lot harder for him to, to turn and and get me. So, but oh yeah, hover tank like yours, I'd never be able to catch you. <laughs> yeah, and Commander Shepard is a lot better player than I am, so. That has to be put in effect too, because he knows exactly. And it's a lot easier for him to sit there tracked and hit me than not. Yeah, I don't like to burn the repair kit until I absolutely have to. Where are you at, little, little bastard? I'm gonna try and not get spotted right away. Of course, if I did this in a 15 on 15, I'd be dead by now. God, I gotta stop. <laughs> and I still miss. <laughs> Ouch. Now, I hit his, I shot for his top turret right there, and that's exactly what I wanted to do. And all I'm gonna do is just keep him occupied. Oh, just like that. But as you can see, you know, you gotta wage your battles. Yeah, definitely. Uh, tank destroyers will. Uh make you into a flaming uh, piece of wreckage like that. I didn't even bother angling on him because at that range, I mean, it, even with the front plate, a freak bounce would uh, be a freak occurrence. So. Exactly. So. Anyways, we hope this uh, clears the air a little bit. You know, there's a little bit of controversy in our last video. Like uh, we said in the beginning, we're just trying to show how you can beat that front plate specifically, but you know it's it, even still at range it's not overpowered you switch to gold and you know you could still get through at 300 meters with the 262 268 mm -hmm. anything and even if uh, the thing is that that tank's not bad it's it, the E50 is really nice uh for a medium tank you know it's nice to see a, a medium tank with a good amount of armor on the front the thing like i said i don't like is that even though you can't get pinned there most players, especially when they're at tier 10, unless they bought their way all the way up, know how to deal with certain tanks. And if they know that your turret, which doesn't have a lot of armor on it, uh, yeah. that I can tell, at least the T-62 was able to pin it and stuff like that. Um, or even if not, the lower plate still. I mean, it, the lower plate is just as big as uh, the, the upper plate. I mean, you can see just as much. And as long as somebody can pin that, I mean, you know... Uh, you're still destructible, but uh, the E50 is still a nice tank. I, I do like it. Yeah, I think it's it's basically a tier 10 Panther. I mean, wh what they've really done in 8.8 .8 is is make that whole line a lot more viable. Starting, well, I guess you could say at that that new Proto Panther, the uh, the VK3002M. Mm -hmm. You know, the basically from there, just the the tanks get better. I don't really know else how to put it. I mean, the VK3002M is it's okay. I mean, it basically looks like your your regular Panther, but you move up to the uh the regular Panther here and I mean, it has 55 kph top speed. The traverse speed is a lot better than what it used to be. I'll throw on my upgraded tracks here. You get 32 tur uh 32 hole traverse and your 
your turret traverse is uh, the same you move up to the uh, the Panther 2 it's even better 36 uh, traverse speed and then uh, your turret traverse is just 30 with the stock and 30 with the upgraded exactly. so you're just um, you're just making the line you're continuing from that Panther tradition you know the specialized sniper but now they gave it the mobility to actually not get flanked by other medium tanks as easily so you just you're just moving up and you're still keeping that strong frontal armor where you could actually get some bounces at range you know don't go in and dogfight with it you're gonna get torn up but at range you know you you might be able to get some bounces on it if you're not getting shot at by tank destroyers or a whole bunch of people that know your weak spots yeah, and, and two things I would like to point out before I, I, I jump off of this is, one, I don't think, with the forums, everybody is open to their own opinion, but my own opinion, and I think Commander Shepard would agree with me, is I don't think it's overpowered. I really don't. Um, I think it just has this right amount um, on there. It just gives it a little edge in the front, but it's still weak on other spots, um, you know? So I don't think it's like that one French arty tank that, you know, could reload in like six seconds and derp you all day long at, what, a tier five? Or I can't even remember what yeah. tier it was. Um, you know, I think it's a really decent tank in that sense. Also, you got to look at other tanks like, um, you know, the IS-7. That thing is angled like crazy. Um, but it still has its weakness. Unless you know how to use the tank you're gonna die um, unless you know how to angle it it's just like any other tank you know I, I you know a lot of times when we're playing the IS-3 in our regular campaign and stuff like that and and Eric's the Tiger you know playing with me I'll go out there in the front because I know how to angle it and I'll, I can take a good amount of shots before I get blown up because I angle myself um, you know and it's just how you play the tank. So, in my opinion, I don't think it's overdirt. I, I don't think it's overpowered in any sense. So. Oh no! I mean, just uh, learn how to uh, to beat the weak spots. I mean, you know, you shoot at the same place and you don't pen. You know, it's it's uh, it's you. You know, it's not the game. But, anyways, uh, we hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Hope it cleared up any controversies, what have you. If you like it, uh, give us the thumbs up, subscribe, tell your friends, and we'll see you around. All right, see ya.